James, what's the mood in the camp looking to go to what looks a very tough away game? Yeah, I think we're excited more than anything. Obviously, very disappointed with the weekend's result. But I guess the, um, the positives that come out of that game was we, cr we created a lot of opportunities. It's just that final part that we've got to finish off. And, um, you know, obviously Harlequins have been going really well this year, haven't lost a game in, in the new year. So um, their confidence is high, their belief is high. Um, and we just need to match that. And Gloucester's record recently against the top teams is very good. Yeah, we've had we've had a few good good games there, but again, we've kind of let it slip against other oppositions. So one thing that we're really keen to get going is, is playing well away from home. We know that we've put in a good shift at um, at King's home in front of our in front of our great fans, but we want to be um, you know rewarding those travelling fans because we are, we do have some of the best in the comp that um, you know we put in a good performance away from home. And apart from not necessarily taking all of your chances, having created the opportunities. What else has come out of the analysis of the Bristol game? Just discipline, really. Uh, I think we, we, you know, we gave away too many um, easy moments, it, whether it's turnover or, or discipline in the giving away penalties. So, if we sort of limit those, um, yeah, I think we can back ourselves in our attacking system. And from a personal point of view, good to be back fit and starting again. Yeah, it is good to be back, but again, similar to the team. Um, you know, not happy with where we are at the moment. We want to want to make sure that sort of I'm I'm going another sort of 20% more than what we gave on the weekend um, because we have that. I think for me individually and as a team, we've got so much more to grow. It's a funny one, isn't it? That Gloucester had the injury crisis for so long. You were you know sort of a lot of responsibility on you. Then you picked up an injury. Now you're back fit. Frank and Murray's back fit. Everyone's back fit almost. Yeah, I think that's um, that's what's going to benefit. Us in the long term is um, that competition in trainings. Um, you know, for a long period there, we didn't. We probably had. We still had a good 15, 23. Um, the group, the group of 23 that were playing. But for us, we need to compete. We need to have a fully fit other 15 ready to go as well. Um, you know, when, you, when you're sort of training against um, just no opposition, because we pretty much couldn't make up the numbers. Um, it, it, it gives yourself a, a sort of false sense of, of where you're sitting. But for us now, we've got really quality guys. You know, that are biting the at the bit to get a game and, and that makes um, competition intense. You're still getting your breath back. Fair play, you've come straight and talked to us off the training field. Yeah. How is training at the moment intense, I guess? It's good, yeah. I mean, for us, um, you know, it's a, it's a long week, so we're putting in a really big shift at the start of, the, the start of this week just to um, to get back into it. You, know, you can tell straight away that even though boys are carrying niggles or, you know, it was, it, it, at the end of the day, it was a tough game. It was, it was brutal physically, so we're, we're just really moving on from that and making sure that we... Um, put in the hard yards before the weekend. How do you rate Harlequins? Because you look at their result against Bath, snatch that in the last minute, that says a lot. Yeah, I think if you look at all of their games across the year, even the ones that they've lost, they've picked up bonus points. So all of their games have been tight. Um, you know, they're a quality opposition, they have been for years, and obviously they're sitting above us at the table at the moment. So it's one that we really want to um, you know, prove to everyone that we can play well away from home.